Good morning, everybody. On today's episode of Pinchy House Garage, we're here with Dommy Dom and new guy, Matt. Uh, local guys here in Ramona, you gotta teach me a little thing or two about washing a car, especially Dominic's Mark IV wagon. Uh, today, we're gonna degrease the engine, bay. <laughs> we're gonna power wash the whole top of the car. We're gonna see the end results of the paint. Um, and then we're gonna go knee deep inside the fucking car. Um, we're gonna go inside and we're gonna do a lot of cleaning. We're gonna take everything out, completely gut the car, clean it, see what's salvageable and what requires for us to actually get the car back to a non-turd state. Uh, <laughs> see, I got that, don't worry, I got it, man. So right now the engine's out. We already dropped off the engine at Paradise Motorsports in San Marcos. Uh, my buddy Justin out there is doing the machine work on it. So we're building this car for 300 horsepower, right? Yeah, he just wants a nice little daily commuter on a little five-speed Jetta wagon. Uh, we are going to be slamming it on coilovers. Um, we haven't decided on wheels yet, but we have a lot of a lot of ideas uh, coming up for this car. So, if you guys are enjoying the content with Dominic's Mark IV wagon, you guys need to comment down below, hit that subscribe button, the notification bell. That way, you guys can get a lot more content with Dominic. And now Matt is going to be showing up every now and then, right? Yeah. And then we also have Tanner, Tanner Faust. <laughs> we have our, his buddy Tanner also uh, coming out and hanging out with us uh, pretty much and working on his car. So, as always, let's get to work because it's Pichy House Garage. Take it away, buddy. We're gonna hose it down really quick. Is the water on? Okay. Go for it. That's what that's what we're here for. It's all no, it's already pressurized. Now pull the trigger. I mean, for a car that I got for free. Oh, I didn't even realize. Yeah. I, mean, I got it for free. I just had to drive clear across all the way down like, oh my God, um, it's like three hours from here to go pick it up. So I spent like a hundred bucks to pick it up. Yeah. So. Just so you guys know, it's gonna be like a hundred degrees today here in Ramona. <laughs> So, right now, the hose is gonna be really refreshing. But after this, it's gonna suck. Yeah, the paint on this thing is legit, though. I'm actually impressed. But it's reflex silver. So, mostly re most reflex silver Mark IVs, their paints don't tend to peel as much, and their uh, clear coat don't tend to fade as much on these cars. All right, we'll get back to you guys when he's done washing this right. thing. Dami Dom right here is uh, spraying down the engine bay with degreaser. Some of that purple power. We were actually all out of super clean, which I actually prefer over purple power now um, for many, many reasons. But I mean, purple power, I can buy it in gallon form at AutoZone. Unfortunately, um, super clean, you can't. I have to go to different places to buy it. Um, here you go. Car is actually washed. It's not bad for just a quick hose down. Car is impressive. Again, he just hosed this down. We didn't wash it, wash it. Um, you know? So for a car that we got for free, it's impressive. Right? The engine bay is going to look better than the car, just FYI. That's my color on that engine. So, right now, this is the before. You can see all the grime is just already breaking loose with the purple power. I love purple power, don't get me wrong. It is definitely a good budget uh, degreaser. But man, that super clean, yo, does a much better job. Right, just got the engine bay hose down, scrubbed off. Now we're hosing it down. Yep. Let me get it correct, all right.
dirty and nice and clean. <laughs> I gotta be careful though, because water keeps splashing back on the GoPro. <laughs> Waterproof, dog. I think, I think she's pretty well good. You might just, I mean, looks good to me. You could just hop in and start her up now and probably roll her out. <laughs> All right, so hopefully their narration that they did, that they said earlier they did for me when I was going poo, they did it. So uh, you can see now the interior, I mean the interior, the engine bay is spotless. Kinda. There's still debris there. I don't know why he did over here. Yeah. So, not bad at all. So, Dom now is gonna. Is it that short still? So, we're back. We pushed the Jetta, the wagon, into my garage about what, three quarters of the way? Yeah, three quarters. And uh, these guys did a great job cleaning their hands. Look at their hands, nice and dirty. Uh, Matt did more work, looks like it. Yeah, he, he got farther down. He got deep in their light. So, this is what the interior looks like. Two years, maybe two and a half years of just sitting. And we haven't done anything with it yet. I mean, you can see it's just stupid dusty. Um, so if anybody's got a Jetta glove box, for the right, I mean, for, for a Jetta. Please hit us up in the comments down below. I'm more than willing to buy it immediately. She's giving me a good deal, black, uh, for a Jetta glove box. Um, but we're gonna transform this car from this ugly turd to a nice, ugly, ni nice, ugly turd. <laughs> it's a turd on YouTube. <laughs> 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 Yeah. 
It's okay. I'm 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 just a dark as one. I'm okay with that. You'll see here. This thing's got a Mopar battery. Come on. Mopar or no par. So in the magical world of the internet and editing, it's gonna go from this. to this because we're not going to edit anything. <laughs> you guys are going to watch us clean the crap out of this car. <laughs> all right, let's get to work. All right, so we got all the trash cleaned out, except for that. Got to clean that out still, but got trash cleaned out, back seat, front seats. Hey, Matt. Yeah. Nice and cleaned out. Put Mr. Put Mr. Pinchy out of work. Fuck yeah. About time he does something. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's right, that's right. So, gotta get this thing vacuumed out. Then we're gonna run to the local Vato zone. Pick some stuff up. We're gonna carpet clean the carpets. Wipe down the seats. See how good the leather cleans up. Should clean up pretty good though. Looks decent. So this guy did the uh, he did what the leather swap? Yeah. The guy did leather swap and left the ass pads out of the swap. <laughs> so we got like 90% of the leather swap, so we gotta go to the junkyard eventually. Find the <laughs> ass pads. All right, we'll get back to you when we're done. So this is everything we pulled out of the car <laughs> that was in it. About a quarter of it was actually uh, stuff that we pulled out from the engine bay because we're saving it for the next uh, project. But now uh, we rented a rug doctor and we got a bunch of cleaning supplies now. And so now we're wiping down the dash. Uh, we're cleaning out the carpet. So that way we could suck it all up with some nice fresh water and everything. Uh, we're gonna do like a really good detail job in this because we wanna see how bad everything actually is after we clean it. So I'll show you guys some, uh, before, well you saw some before now, let's see what happens after. All that's left is just a headliner as well. Fat well, we don't need to get from the junkyard, we just gotta rewrap this again. If you're gonna do suede, like real suede, make sure you get a upholstery suede, okay? Uh, yeah, four headliners. There's actually a, a suede for strictly that. If you don't, what's gonna happen is that we're gonna try to stretch something that doesn't stretch. Where it gets awkward. I don't know how short Dom is, but how tall I am. Yeah, no, you're you're tall, dude. So, <laughs> oh, no. So today, Matt, Matt Damon, Dominic Toretto, beat you out, worked our asses off. These guys worked really hard. I'm not even, I'm not even taking much credit at all. These guys did a lot more work than I would. Have done. Yeah, pretty much. I pooped a lot. I did a lot of poop. Jerk. <laughs> Still not pooping, apparently it took all day, but it was like 10 minutes between the session. So, um, so today's job was very, very thorough. We, we greased the engine, day. Literally took out years of grind at this car's interior. To put it all back, <laughs> back with all that stuff going on the ground. Yeah, but that's not dirty. Either. No, no. We're going to put it on cardboard and stuff, so let's clean the car will take care of um, Next week, hopefully the engine's done. So, 
So maybe we might get his engine back next week. Uh, but we're going to have a lot of engine building content. We actually got three motors to build. Um, so we got three people here. Maybe we'll everybody build one motor. Oh boy. Uh, we'll let Dom build his own motor. Okay. Fair enough. Fair enough. Uh, Matt will help me build my motor. And then we have another motor we got to build as well. We are six. So. Hmm? can help us with that one. Yeah. So we got a lot of content, guys. A lot, a lot of content. And new people. Locals. Guys that want to get dirty, guys that want to learn, this guy already knows a lot. So I don't have to bug him as much. This guy really wants to learn a lot about cars and stuff like that. So he's going to learn how to wire cars. We're going to learn how to build an entire car from scratch because we literally are building a car completely from scratch now. Um, so we got a lot of work ahead of us. Thank you guys for watching this episode of Beach House Garage with Matt and Dom. Hit that like, hit that subscribe button, the notification bell, you know, all the stuff that everybody tells you to do. Do it for us. Do it for these guys. They need to eat, so. <laughs> so, we appreciate it. Follow and enjoy. Peace out, everybody. And as always, here at Peach House Garage, what do we do? Yeah, you don't know the motto. I didn't even tell them about it, so don't worry about it. We're going to break, we're going to fix, and we're going to repeat. That's a life cycle. Peace out, everybody. You guys have a wonderful day.